to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Tammy is there. Tammy, how can we help? Hey, good afternoon. Um, calling to see if you can help. Um, I have a situation that just seems to not exactly be improving. I've got an aunt that this is the third time, um, third time now, just recently. She's messaged me asking for money because they're tight on cash. Um, the past two times that she's asked, it's been like a thousand dollars here and there. Um, and she paid it back when she has the first time she offered interest. Second time she just paid back the full amount. But I'm just getting to the point where I, I don't feel comfortable. How much longer do I keep doing this? And the story just keeps dragging out. Like it doesn't seem to be, there doesn't seem to be an end to it. No, there won't be either. Because you're a yeah. bank for her, you know. She came to you the first time. I will say this: I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised that she's paid you back both times. That's the most shocking part. Uh, I was really surprised to hear that. Uh, but she's not going to change her habits because she knows, or at least she believes, up to this very moment, that when she gets in a tight pinch, she comes and tells you a story and she plays on your emotions and you help her out. But the fact of the matter is, this isn't about her. This is about you and your life, and you're not feeling good about it. So, you know, yeah. th the answer is uh, Aunt Peggy or whatever her name is, I'll just call her that, you know, I'm not giving you money anymore. I don't feel good about yeah, it, so, and I'm yeah, not going to do mean, it. I mean, I definitely i am not going to. I feel like th this is the time that I say no to her. But how do I do that? Very, how do I, very clearly. How do I say no? You can, very clearly. You can do it kindly, but do it firmly. Yeah. You don't have to be a jerk about it. Okay. And, Tammy, you, you are not a jerk. You are a very nice person. But, Tammy, what you're actually afraid of is not what you're going to say. It's how she's going to react. That's exactly right. You are really yes, worried about exactly. it. exactly. And that is something that is completely out of your control. And so the hardest thing to do about mm -hmm. this whole situation is letting go the idea that you have control of the outcome. Because she Fair could enough. say, exactly. well, we're family, and I can't believe you do this to me, and oh my gosh, you're dead to me now. And she severs the relationship. That's really a worst-case scenario, right? Yep. But if the entire relationship was based on these transactions, there was no relationship to begin with. Exactly. Well, yeah, and that's sort of how I'm feeling. Well, Tammy, here's the deal. I think here's your choice. Would you rather disappoint Aunt Peggy, or would you rather resent her? Yeah, I'm starting to resent her. No, I know. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm asking you to answer the question. This is a would you rather, and it's rather mild. All right. Would you rather disappoint her by saying kindly but firmly, as George said it very clearly, not going to give you money anymore. Would you rather disappoint her or would you rather resent her more than you already resent her? Which one do you want to choose long term? Yeah, I'd, I'd rather disappoint her. That's the choice. And our friend Dr. John Deloney quotes another psychologist when he says, choose guilt over resentment every time. Yeah. That's that's, that's the choice. Because yep. the resentment is a poison. The guilt we can deal with. But that resentment is going to sever the relationship more than anything. And so it's going to be a hard conversation. We're not trying to belittle that. Uh, you know, don't mince the words. Just say, I'm so sorry. I can no longer provide money for you. I'd love to help you get on a budget and give you some resources to do that. Maybe you gift her the total money makeover. We'll gift one to you if you think she'll read it. But if she's not willing to deal with the underlying behaviors, then you're just an enabler in this situation. Exactly, and I don't. I definitely don't want to be that. So do you recommend, because this is like she's always requested the money over text, and it's just an easy transaction, obviously. Yeah, text it. Um, do I text her back, or do I? is this like a phone call situation do you recommend? Sure, I, call. I think next time she texts you, you give her a call and explain. Yeah. Because over text, there's no tone, and so it's easy to take right. things the wrong way. I'd much rather say, I wanted to come jump on a call real quick. I know you sent me the text. Here's the situation. That's a very good point. But, I mean, here's the deal. She, you have to start this conversation by saying, hey, this is going to be very difficult. This is not an easy thing for me to do, but I've decided. You need to use words like that. So before we actually lay it out there, she understands exactly what's going on. And if she senses any weakness, she's going to pounce. I promise you. That's a great point. Like, Tammy, you have to be decided. 
Yeah, like you have before you even have the conversation, you got to go. It doesn't matter what she says, what she does, how she reacts. I am choosing this for me, and I've right. made the choice. The decision's been made. This is all about communicating okay. a decision. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, it does. That's definitely. And Tammy, um, listen to me. No, because you keep – there's nothing more on this because you keep coming back. You're so concerned about what she's going to do, and I get it. But here's what you need to understand, Tammy, that no matter what your aunt does or says as a result of this, you are not a bad person. Okay. I want you to okay. say that right now. I am not a bad person. Say it. I am not a bad person. All right. Then believe it. And, George, this is why for years, decades – Dave, and, and now we carry that torch, this money, loaning family members money, Never getting well. involved in money issues, it just, oh, it's a recipe for disaster. Thanksgiving is already awkward enough. Isn't it true? Between politics and sports, let's not bring money into it and go, hey, uh, yeah. you remember you owe me that money, yeah. aunt? Yeah. And she goes, oh, I was going to get it to you. Yeah. And now she starts avoiding you. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it well, just breaks my heart how many and I relationships get it. Let, let's be out. very clear. I, I get Tammy, you know, who knows what the, we didn't dig into what the relationship is, you know, is it the sister of, you know, whatever. But, you know, this idea of disappointing any family member, family member is very, very difficult to think about. Agreed. But then they're, you're worried about the damage they're going to do. Why are they going to go tell other, half the side of the family? You know, oh, you're not going to believe this. You know, it's just like you feel like it's a no-win situation. Agreed. And but there's that's a reason, not the case. There's a reason she went to to her niece. She knows other people in her life are going to go kick rocks and pound sand. I'm not going to just going to keep giving you money. But when it comes to Tammy's, a very nice person. Very. And nice. uh, you know, there's a book out there called No More Mr. Nice Guy, and it's for people who tend to be people pleasers and they want to make people happy. They don't want to make people feel bad. They want to be liked, and that can cause us to do things that cause us to be resentful. Yeah. And I'm one of those people pleasers, recovering. Have you read the book? I have. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, amazing read. Yeah, there you go. There's a good recommendation right there uh, for those of you who feel that, you know, because that's a tough bond to break, you know, where you feel bonded to family or friends that you always have to say yes. Ooh, it's tough. That's one of the hardest things. But We're not trying to belittle it, but it's a, it's as simple as it sounds and as hard as it sounds. Yeah, really tough stuff. Well, Tammy, thank you so much for uh, calling in and trusting us. and Hang in there. Do what's best for you. Choose you in this situation and let the chips fall where they may. Thanks again for the call.